So today in phonics, we're going to look at the long E sound, going E, made at the end of words just by a single letter E all by itself. So our title is going to be E. It's what we call a long E. You can put a little line above it to mean that letter goes E instead of E. That's our title. Put the date up in the top corner for whatever day it is for you. We're going to do six words that end in the letter E all by itself. So let's number one, two, three down the side of the page. We can find the middle of our page by taking this and folding it to the middle of the book. That fold line tells us the middle of the page. We'll do our numbers four, five, and six. Let's take a look at some short little words that end with an E all by itself and make the sound E. All right, we have words like me when you're addressing yourself, me. We have a word like bee, not the bee that flies around though, not the insect, but just bee. We have the letters P and E, which are an abbreviation for physical education or gym, so P-E. We have the word we when you're meaning a whole bunch of people, right, we. And we have the word for girl and for boy, which is she for girl and he for boy. All right, let's go ahead and write in our six words. Word number one is me. So we need a m, mm, letter M. And then that E at the end, which goes E. Me, me. Word number two is B. So we need the b, b, letter B, with the E sound at the end. B, E, B, B. We need the two letters that make physical education. The abbreviation for that is P, so big capital P, E, big capital E, P-E, physical education. It's like gym, P-E. Word number four is we. We need the w sound, that's a W, w. we, and the E at the end, we. Word number five, she, which stands for a girl. So we need the digraph sh which is made with S-H, sh, and our E at the end, she, she. And we need the word that stands for a boy, which is he. So we need the ha, ha sound, that's H, with the E at the end, he, he. There we go. Let's take a bright color and color in the E at the very end, just to make it pop off the page and to represent that what we're talking about is E all by itself, at the end of a word that makes the long E sound or E sound in the word. There we go. Going right over top of the E. I'm not scribbling over it. Pops off the page now and I can see it. I need to add a picture. And this is a little bit of a difficult one because really we're talking about words that are a little harder to draw. So I'm going to draw a picture of a girl and refer to that as she. And I'm just going to label my picture, and as it is a picture of a girl, when I'm referring to her, I would say it is she. So I'm going to label my picture as she to show what my picture is about. And there we go. There's my six words in phonics that looks at the long E sound, E, usually found at the end of the word, and it's all by itself, that letter E, not with any other vowels. E.